Hello, welcome to video tuition. In this detailed technical tutorial, I am going to show you how C-Test automation tool can be used to test mobile application on real mobile device. To make it easier to understand, I have divided the complete tutorial in following subtopics. We will talk about each one of them in detail. Let's first start with mobile device setup. To enable developer option in Android phone, go to settings, developer option, and then select stay awake and USB debugging checkbox. It will prompt for USB debugging confirmation. Click on OK button to proceed. Once the developer option is set in mobile, connect mobile device to computer. To make sure your mobile device is recognized by machine, go to command prompt and type ADB devices, which should give you mobile device ID. If the device ID is not displayed in command prompt, then either developer option in phone is not enabled or correct mobile USB driver is missing on computer. Demo version of C-Test Automation for Windows or Mac is available to be downloaded from experitest.com. Launch C-Test when installation is completed. C-Test Automation home screen will have the different tabs available for different functions like Device tab, Task tab, Object Repository, Commands tab, Log tab, and code view. We will see the use of all these tabs in subsequent section of this tutorial. To add the device first time in the C-Test, go to the device tab and click on the add device icon. Select Android from the drop down list. A pop-up will appear and you will then see the serial number of the Android device connected with the machine. Name the device and then click on the OK button. The selected device will appear in the device tab. To launch the mobile device on the screen, select the device and then click on the open device icon. The device screen should then appear on your desktop. Application Manager is a tool to install and instrument the application to be tested in order to investigate its native and web objects using ctest object by feature. For this demo, I am going to use eBay mobile application which I have imported in ctest application manager. Once the application is imported to the application manager, you can perform operations like Install, Uninstall, Launch, Close, Clear Data, etc. on real mobile device or emulator. For recording the test sequence in CTES, go to the Test tab and click on the Record button. Choose the device you wish to record on and choose the test state application name. Go to the device screen that appears on your computer screen and do the exact sequence of actions you want in your test. When complete sequence is recorded, return to C-Test and click on Stop Recording button. The test script will then appear in script area.
test scenario recorded before can be edited to have a new command or verification point or screen capture included at any place in the test flow. In the recorded test, I am going to insert sync command between the steps to wait for some more time before moving on to the next step from the previous one. Also, I am going to insert a verification point to check if a specific element is being displayed correctly or not. Once the editing is done, we are good to execute the script on mobile device. To execute test sequence in the C-Test, go to the test tab and click on the play button. Application will be launched in mobile and the steps we recorded and added when editing will be executed in the order. Runtime execution status can be seen in the log view right below the test test. When the test execution is completed, CTest launches test execution report in the browser which further includes summary and detailed execution status. Summary includes execution runtime and the test mobile device information, while detailed status includes information of all the steps performed along with the screenshot. One of the most important feature of CTest automation is the capability of exporting code to the other environments like UFT, RFT, Java, etc. for readily execution with minimum changes in the code. To export the code say for UFT which is the most known automation tool, go to the code and choose UFT QTP VV script option from the drop down. Click on the copy to clipboard button and now the code is available to be pasted in UFT code window. Launch UFT and paste the code exported from CTest Automation. Now click on the Run button to start the execute. Mostly without making any changes, you should be able to execute VBScript code from UFT. In some cases, you may need to modify the script for seamless execution. Now as you can see, the same test sequence is being executed by UFT on mobile device. UFT test execution is comparatively slower than CTest execution due to the fact that the code is actually being written in CTest. However, the code can be enhanced to have a faster execution by optimization. Now as you see, the UFT execution is completed on the mobile device and the application is closed. CTest Automation tool has lot many features which make this tool definitely a good choice for mobile functional and automation testing. I recommend trying this tool for your mobile application testing needs. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on like button and do share it with your friends and colleagues. You would also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website whose URL is flashing on screen to get the latest updates. Once again, thank you.